Well, if you're driving through Horicon, Wisconsin, you're going to know something quite interesting. It's my new MFJ 1886 uh, receiving loop antenna. And this thing has been getting a lot of looks from passerbys. Uh, a lot of people trying to figure out what it is. Except for uh, one ham operator, uh, WB980V, who stopped by here a little bit ago. He knew what this was, and uh, my uh, uh, fan dipole I have on the side of the house. I'm not going to even bother trying to point the camera at it, because you're not going to really see it that well from here. But, uh, yeah, this is my newest toy. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you notice I've been talking about this thing for a while. If it had some headaches, but um, at first I thought I had a faulty antenna, but it's just, you know, faulty operator error. I'm starting to figure the thing out. It uh, seems to work really good, 9 megahertz on up. Uh, below that's a little iffy, although um, 80 meters seems really good, and uh, the AM broadcast band comes in really good on this thing. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the new antenna, uh, the MFJ1886, and that's been supported up in the air by my uh, uh, homemade painter pole antenna. I got the idea from a video on YouTube. You just take a uh, five gallon bucket, you take your pole, you shove it in there, you uh, fill it up with uh, quickcrete, and then you get one of these uh, telescoping uh, painter poles. And voila! You got a nice antenna that uh, sits about, uh, eh, I would say it's about 12 feet off the ground. My uh, fan dipole, that's a little bit higher. I, I got up a little bit higher in the tree. That's about, I don't know, 16, 17 feet off the ground. So that one's a little bit higher. But, uh, like I said, the fan dipole seems to work better on the lower bands, and this seems to work better on the higher bands. I figured that one out. But, uh, yeah, this is my newest toy. Um, I'm not going to do any videos yet showing you how it compares to my homemade antenna. Because I really should have an antenna switch. Because right now, as it is, if I want to compare the two, I gotta keep running outside, unhooking one antenna and plug in the other one, which I don't really feel like doing for this video. So I just have to be patient until I get the stuff I need to switch back and forth between the two antennas. And I also want to get a rotor for this thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.